It is indeed a great honour for Singapore to host REC's first integrated manufacturing facility for solar wafers, cells and modules. Today, we stand on the site slated to become the largest manufacturing centre for REC in the world. Going beyond manufacturing, I'm also pleased to note that REC will also conduct R&D, process innovation and development here. As Mr. Tolson said, we believe this will be the seed of a world-class ecosystem of supporting companies providing equipment, materials and logistics. We see this as the start of a new cluster of capabilities in Singapore. Amidst the current financial crisis and global economic slowdown, REC's phase one investment of about 3 billion Singapore dollars is not only one of the largest investments ever made in Singapore, but also one which reflects confidence in the strong fundamentals of our diversified economy. Over the years, Singapore has made every effort to grow competencies in our labour force and to constantly improve our fiscal infrastructure. This is how we have remained an attractive investment destination for companies such as REC looking for expansion in Asia. The current global economic downturn will in fact be a period for us to consolidate our strength and to build our capabilities through manpower training and upgrading in preparation for riding the next wave of growth. One of Singapore's strategies is to have a diversified economy so as to help minimize the impact of global economic slowdowns. <clears throat> we constantly monitor opportunities to create new industry clusters and the EDB is at the forefront of identifying industry clusters that are high in value added and which create good jobs. The clean energy industry is one example and in support of it, the government has provided $350 million in funding to develop research and manpower capabilities. Despite the near-term challenges caused by the financial crisis, the long-term prospects for the global clean energy industry remains very bright. Technology will keep advancing, and as the world moves towards addressing climate change, and the depletion of fossil fuels, new solutions will be required and new markets will emerge. We are thus delighted to kickstart Singapore's clean energy industry cluster with the sighting of the world's top integrated solar company in Singapore. As a small city state, we may not always offer the lowest absolute cost, but we do offer a value proposition that differentiates us from other cities. For example, solar manufacturing projects are capital intensive and companies look for places with long-term political stability, consistent pro-business policies and ease of doing business. This creates a low-risk environment which provides benefits that cannot be underestimated. Also, the solar industry is technology and knowledge intensive, requiring multidisciplinary research in areas such as material science and manufacturing process. Singapore has developed expertise in such fundamental technologies for some years now, and we are actively creating new programs to support innovation in the clean energy industry. One key development is the recent establishment of the Solar Energy Research Institute of Singapore, or CERES, at the National University of Singapore. We look forward to CERES supporting companies like REC in the further advancement of solar technology. The clean energy sector will create new and exciting opportunities for our workforce, including 1,300 jobs, 1300 jobs in the first phase of the REC project alone. Our two local universities, the National University of Singapore and the Nanyang Technological University, as well as our polytechnics, have recently launched programs to provide specialized manpower in clean energy. 
including the solar industry. The Workforce Development Agency is also exploring ways to retrain our workers and prepare them for this fast-growing sector. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm also very pleased to know that REC is doing its part to develop human capital for this manufacturing facility, and this includes training attachments in various REC facilities in Scandinavia. As REC and other clean energy companies proceed to ramp up their activities, I would like to encourage and urge Singaporeans to seize these opportunities to upgrade themselves and to pursue careers in this bright new industry. Ladies and gentlemen, let me once again thank the board and management of REC for choosing Singapore for this investment. And I'm confident that Singapore will continue to be competitive, dynamic, and a great place to expand your activities. We remain very committed to help you succeed in this exciting yet challenging environment because your success is also our success. We see this as a start of a long-lasting partnership, a truly fruitful and meaningful partnership. So let me wish you many sunny days here in Singapore. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister.